If you're not on YouTube, you need to be. YouTube is the second most used search engine behind only Google and is the world's most popular online video community. Every minute, 24 hours of video is uploaded to YouTube. And since it's owned by Google, all content is indexable by search engines. That includes descriptions, titles, and tags. As of June 2011, goodbye custom player widget, hello embeddable playlist. YouTube previously offered a specialized way of embedding playlists, as well as uploads and favorite feeds for playback on third-party sites in a customizable interface called the Custom Player. While the Custom Player had its fans, it never saw a great deal of usage, and so YouTube recently removed support for the creation of new custom players. Don't worry if you've already created a custom player and installed it on your website or blog, it should still continue to work as is. The only thing that has changed is that new custom players cannot be created. Fortunately, similar functionality is available by creating an embedded playlist, which I'll show you how to do right now. Okay, so first things first, you're gonna wanna sign into your YouTube account. So I'm gonna just do that right now. Sign in. Okay, next, you're gonna to navigate to the drop down menu in the upper right hand corner and choose videos. To create a new playlist, simply click on the new button and then enter the necessary info, including title, description, tags. Remember, all of these are indexable to ensure your playlist shows up in search engine results. So you're definitely gonna to wanna to make sure you fill out these fields. Then it's simple as clicking create list and there you got it, you can start adding videos. But for the purpose of this example, we're gonna use a pre-existing list. Once again, featuring the effervescent and oh so photogenic Baxter. So let's add a, another video to this playlist before we post it to our website. We'll search for the words schnauzer and miniature, see what we get. Click on this one. I've seen it before. I know it's a good video. It's a winner. So let's go ahead and add it to our playlist. I just click on the add to button located below the video and choose my Baxter the Wonder Schnauzer playlist from the drop down menu. And add it to playlist confirmation will pop up letting me know we're ready to rock and roll. I navigate back to the playlist by choosing videos from the drop down menu in the upper right hand corner and then click on the share button right below the playlist title. There it is. Then it's as simple as grabbing the HTML code and pasting it into your text editor, making sure to strip the formatting. Click on make plain text here. Try to get out of the way. Now I'm gonna log into my personal website. which is also a WordPress installation. Big WordPress fan, but this HTML code for these widgets will work on any platform. So I need to choose where I wanna add my YouTube video playlist. Let's put it on a page. And let's select the photos page. I'll install it underneath my Flickr slideshows that I already have on there. Make sure to switch over to the HTML editor before pasting your code. I'm gonna grab it from my text editor here, cut and paste it. Then I'm gonna click on update, preview changes, scroll to the bottom. Here we go, down, down, down. Past all those Flickr slideshows. Oh, there it is. Ta-da! Baxter the Wonder Schnauzer. Okay, I can choose to watch the first video in the playlist. 
or I can choose to view it full screen if I want to see it bigger. So you just click on that. Now, if I want to watch the other videos in the playlist, I just click on the gray icon. And then I can scroll through the videos using the navigation arrows. And to play one, I just click on it. Now it's important to note that when you update a playlist via your YouTube account, it automatically updates on your website or blog. So re-embedding the playlist isn't necessary.